Welcome back to the filthy rich guy to billion dollar listings. Here's what we've learned so far. The filthy rich love bathrooms. They hate buying just one of anything and they despise the sound of the ocean. Plus, you're nothing if you don't have a boat with its own boat, an attack falcon, and a staffer following your yacht around to catch out of bound B balls. But in the end, the biggest baller, filthy rich real estate move of all going homeless. Like German investor Nicholas Bergruen, also known as the Homeless Billionaire. Nicholas Bergruen is known as the Homeless Billionaire because after owning palatial spreads around the world, he sold them all and started living in hotels because he said he liked it better. And while you might expect his bindle to hold a few bottles of crude champagne, this eccentric badass carried his belongings in a shopping bag. So he believed that you were never really free if you were tied to your material items. With reportedly two very important exceptions. His two favorite teddy bears he kept at the Carlisle Hotel in New York. So he has his Gulfstream, his teddy bear, and his freedom. So don't worry too much about the homeless billionaire. You only have to look at party photographs of Nicholas Bergeron and the beautiful women who hang off him in every instance to realize it doesn't matter that he's homeless, it matters that he's a billionaire. This billionaire has earned the nickname of the homeless billionaire, but he actually recently purchased homes in Los Angeles and New York. Sounds like he needs a new nickname. How about billionaire with an unhealthy obsession with teddy bears? CNBC is Shark Tank Nation. When people come in that are delusional, I have to say I'm out. Big red flag. You gotta move on. Shark Tank next. Join the Shark Tank Nation. Amazing. CNBC. The Prophet premieres Tuesday at 10. CNBC.